during the month I spent in St. Andrew's Marina, we had beautiful sunny days like this. Mysterious foggy nights and rain made the pelicans grumpy. For entertainment, we had jets flying overhead, but there was no doubt that the highlight of the month in St. Andrew's Marina was Mardi Gras. Headed off by the obligatory colour guard and marching band, these were soon followed by floats, where it seemed that the major objective was to offload roughly four tonnes of beads per float. The Fakawi tribe have found their way to the United States. I was amused to discover that Mr. Miyagi had joined the Fakawi tribe, but with only 250 more floats to go, I thought I'd go and explore the culinary delights of Food Alley. Here I discovered an extraordinary variety of fried food and the highlight of the Mardi Gras, the synchronized dancing dogs. <laughs> Alas, my time in St. Andrew's Marina had come to an end. A favorable weather window had opened and under full sail, we headed out across the Gulf of Mexico. I was accompanied by a crewman, Dan. Well, we caught our first fish on our first day out in the Gulf. And uh, it's a bonita by all accounts. And handy Dan is now filleting it and uh, doing a much better job than anything I would have done. <laughs> These guys are exciting enough during the day as they zoom around across the bow, but at night with the bioluminescence coming off them, it's a spectacular sight. With my first overnighter and the crossing of the Gulf of Mexico safely under our belt, we motored into clear water and awoke to a beautiful sunny day. And so a trip to the beach was in order. And there, along with hundreds of other people, I enjoyed the sunshine.